Hello, hello. Good evening. Can you hear me, everyone? Hello, hello, hello. Is anyone there? Can you hear me? Hello, hello, hello. Hello, is nobody here? Hello, can, can you hear me? Ah, you're here. Oh. Yes. <laughs> How you doing? I was talking, but <laughs> you didn't hear me. Yeah, but I can hear you now. How are you? A uh, little bit better. Nice. <laughs> did did the doctor discover what you had? No, actually, I have more uh, some this Friday. Oh my gosh! I no no. <laughs> <laughs> but are you taking some medicine? Yes, a lot of tablet oh no <laughs> all right but, but, but it works because i i don't feel at the at the beginning of the week i don't mm -hmm. feel like so now uh, it's a little bit better yeah it's a all little right bit. well that's important because i mean at least you are improving a little bit yeah <laughs> <laughs> Gordo, that is that your cat? Yes. Ah. Oh. Its name. Its name is Nono. That's his name. No. Yes. Okay. No, no. <laughs> That's a, a curious name. <laughs> it's a. Uh, he has an interesting history because what? I knew him like a year and three months ago. Ah, okay. He was, he was really tiny. <laughs> and and I, I just killed him. And uh, a student, uh, and a person who was a student veterinarian. Uh huh. He, she, she told me, it's a girl. And I said, okay, her name going to be Cece. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And then, I have to take him to, to, to the vet and the vet tell me he's not a girl, it's a boy. Okay. <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> but but it makes sense. I mean, with the cats, it's it's different than with the dogs. Yes. It's, it's different. So it is not yeah. so easy to recognize if it is a girl or if it is a boy. <laughs> Yeah, so it is. It is an interesting history, but now, at the beginning, he all the whole the stuff was pink. Everything was pink. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> and now we we change it to blue, but <laughs> yeah, you had to. <laughs> okay. At the beginning, at the beginning, when we when we change uh, his number, his, his name. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Um he didn't recognize when he called him like no no <laughs> no no come here no 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 but what nah. was what was his name when he was a girl <laughs> Cici. <laughs> ah okay makes sense now, now he's the opposite he's a boy so <laughs> <it's> no no <laughs> he doesn't understand he has a crisis yes. an identity crisis <laughs> yes poor man <laughs> okay <laughs> well but but you, you, you accept him? You love yes, him? Yes, I love that's, him. That's the important thing. Okay, pretty funny. Love I like that. Love like, like somebody says. <laughs> yeah, definitely. All right, that's yeah. nice. Okay. Well, now I can see more people. Welcome, everybody. How are you tonight?
Um, how are you guys? Talk to me. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Hello, Holman. How are you? I am. I am fine. How was your day? It was very easy and um bored, bored. Boring? Boring, boring, yes. Okay, easy and boring. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, sounds good, sounds good. Who else is there? Hector, how are you? Hey, good evening, teacher, everybody. I'm fine. I'm, I'm tired, a little tired, but, but good. That's the attitude. Excellent. I can see who else. Magdaleno, how are you? I cannot hear you. Hello. Hello. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. I cannot hear you. Okay, se me arruinaron los audífonos. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh oops. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, hello. Good evening, teacher. Okay. Besides the headphones broken, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just in the home, at home, mm -hmm. and today I finished early my, my day, I finished um, at six, maybe, in the afternoon. Good for you. Yes. All right. <laughs> One day between a lot of days. Okay, all right. Good and for your you. Day, how was? I was good, actually, a little bit tiring, but so far so good. I don't complain. <laughs> if you complain, your you, your boss. I, uh... I don't have option. I can't complain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. Well, in the way, way in, in the way in the in the good way, everyone, of course. <laughs> but I always try to look at the bright side, and. The bright side is that today is Wednesday, everyone. We are in the middle of the week. So you can smell is Friday is closer, okay? And remember everyone, this is the last week with us together. And the good news is that you are ready to go to the next level. Yes or no? Yes, I am. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Good. Mm. No me convencen mucho, guys. I told you, you had to be confident. Okay, like, yes, of course, teacher, I'm ready. Okay, so confidence will help you. Okay, believe it or not, if you don't have confidence, you won't be able to talk in English. Okay, you will be always like, I cannot do it, I'm shy. No, come on, let's be confident, okay? You are ready for that. Now, thank you so much for being on time. Thank you for the ones who has the camera on. I'm happy to see you, very good. Now, do you remember the topics that we studied yesterday? Uh-huh. We talk about uh, interview teacher. Jobs interviews, yes. Uh, make a try, try. Uh, with, with my partner about interview. Correct. Or hire, on the, or don't hire, hire me. <laughs> they, they don't hire right. you or they did? Yes, I did. Ah, okay, okay. I did. <laughs> Very good. They tried, uh, in, 
¿Cómo sería prueba? Como eh, era un exercise, exercise, uh -huh. An exercise, exercise about, about the interview. Uh -huh. Correct, exactly. What else? What was the other topic that we studied yesterday? About the brand. Very brand awareness. Good. Brand awareness. awareness. Okay. So let's continue with the class that we had for today. Today we are going to talk about something a little bit different, okay? No more a uh, jobs interview, no more brand awareness. Today we are going to see a different topic. So can everybody see the presentation? Yes. Okay, so today is April 26. <laughs> I don't know what happens these days, only two, but it's 26. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> and today, well, we continue in the week five, unit four. This is the last unit, the last week. And yesterday we talked about brand awareness, specifically stages of brand awareness. Can you remember what were the stages that we studied yesterday? Hmm. Okay, what were the, bra uh, the brand stages? Recon recall. Recall, very good. That was the first one, brand recall. What else? Top mm. of mind. The Recono top of mind. Uh -huh. Re recognition. Recognition. Brand dominance. Ah, I can see you remember. That's good. So, <laughs> That's correct. Brand recall, recognition, top of mind. We have the brand dominance and the unknown brand. Okay, can you explain me what was brand recall with your own words? Hmm. When people can remember the, the brand, with just a feature or with just part of the logo. All right. Do you agree, everybody? Is that brand recall? Do you agree or yes. not? Yes. I think you, when you explain the, the topic, talking about needle and something, it uh -huh. do happen. You see the, the brand immediately. Relationship, when you see the product, relationship, the, the name, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes. Now, pay attention here. What Magdaleno said, it's that when you recognize the brand just by looking at the logo or just like a small piece of the logo, that is the recognition, okay? And the brand recalled, Yesterday, I gave you the example. When I mention a category, for example, milk, the first product that comes to your mind, that is the brand recalled. I say milk. Immediately, you think, ah, needle, or ah, Australia, or I don't remember another one. Oh, salud, for example. The first product that you think that is brand recall. You remember a brand when you think about a product or when you think about a category, okay? And the brand recognition, you see the products immediately, you recognize the brand even if you don't see the name, okay? Now, top of mind, what was that? Is the best uh, fair, uh, the best one first option in your mind? Ah, very good. Exactly. It's the top, right? The first option, the ones that for you is the best in all the categories. For example, if you want to buy a cell phone, you think, ah, which brand should I buy? Ah, I'm going to buy Samsung because that is your top of mind. That is the best option for you. That's the best product. 
Now, brand dominance, what is that? Uh -huh. When you cannot think in a difference, the, the other product or the other brand. That's the one. Then I gave you the example. Hey, we are going to buy snacks. And you say, okay, Diana snacks. Okay, but can you think in another one? <gasps> no, I just know Diana one. Okay, you cannot think about another. Only the ones that you like. And the last one, unknown brand. What is that? When, when a brand is unknown, unknown, you. <laughs> what is the word to say? Unknown. This one. Unknown. No. Mm -hmm. Because this is irregular. Simple present is unknown. Simple past, unknown. Past participle, unknown. You add the letter N at the end. So basically, exactly. People. They don't recognize the brand. They don't know the logo. They don't know the name. So basically it's unknown brand. So everybody, those are the stages of the brand awareness. Is there any question about this concept or is it totally clear? Is it clear? Yes. Yes, okay. Yes, it is. Very good. Okay, if it is clear, let's move on to the topic that we are going to use today. It's how to use expressions to clarify a point. Okay, that is the topic that we are going to study tonight. How to use expressions to clarify a point. And I need a volunteer for reading the class objective, please. I want to learn, teacher. Yes, go ahead. Class objective. To learn how to use common expression to clarify a point. Very good. So that is what we are going to, uh, to learn tonight. Some expressions, not all the ones, because there are a lot, but at least the most common one, okay? So this is on your manual on the page 25. So, but what is those expressions? How can we use them? Or why are they important? Well, I need a volunteer for reading this little box. Sometimes. Uh -huh. Can I teach her? Yes, please. Sometimes we need to introduce clarification, the explanation or example exemplification of our ideas as we speak, used in other words, that is to say, simple, simple put, etc. Etc. To, make, etc. to make your point clear to others. Thank you. So imagine everyone, these expressions are very important when you want to explain something. So you can use different expressions and some examples are like, in other words, that is, or you can say that is to say, the meaning is the same, simply put. So have you ever seen these words, these expressions? Yes, in other I'm words, correct. yes. So if yeah. I say, in other words, what is that? Otras palabras. <laughs> exactly. If I say that is or that is to say, what is that? Lo que, lo que esto, lo que quiero decir o lo que esto dice. We can say like lo que quiere decir or in a very common Spanish expression, this is like when in Spanish we say, o sea, or es decir, right? So that is it's, the meaning of this phrase. It's kind of when we say, I mean. 
Exactly. They are just synonyms. Mm -hmm. I mean, is the most common one. That is, or that is to say, maybe it's not so common, but the meaning is the same. Okay. Now we got the next one. Uh, simply put, what is that? Any I idea? Never hear this. Simply put. I never have have yeah. heard that. Okay. Simply put can have like different translations. Some of them can be like dicho sencillamente or in simple words. Um, en palabras simples, en resumen, okay? Those could be the translation for simple put, okay? Clear, everybody, the meaning of these expressions? Yes? Yes, chair. Yes. Now, imagine, as we say, this expression is when you want to explain something. Imagine if I say, okay, everybody, explain me why haven't you finished the platform? And you say, teacher, you know what? <laughs> I have been working a lot. Um, I've been sick. Um, I have felt very stressed. Well, you know, teacher, simply put, I haven't had enough time. Okay, so I'm explaining the reason why I haven't finished the platform and I'm just using this word. Another example. Okay, everybody, can you explain me why you keep your camera off? Okay, teacher, uh, what happens is that I don't feel good. What happens is that I'm driving or I'm eating my dinner. In other words, I don't feel comfortable with my camera on. <laughs> so you see, you are explaining, but you are adding these expressions to clarify your point. The way that we use these words is exactly the same way that we use them in Spanish, okay? Now we are going to see some examples uh, on your manuals, but before checking these, ex uh, these examples, I'm going to check attendance because later I forgot. So when you listen to your names, say present. Um, Carlos Abrego. Carlos Abrego, no. Christian Alexander. Present teacher. Okay. Erika Jasmine. Present. Okay. Fatima Denise. Present teacher. Very good. Gabriel Beltran. Present teacher. Okay. Hector Francisco. Present. Good. Isabel Hernandez. Present, miss. Very good. Ivan Guzman. Ivan Guzman. Uh, Jamie Raquel. Present. Okay. Paul Manjiron. Present. Okay. Lucy Natalie. Lucy Natalie. Okay. Uh, Magdaleno Escalante. Present teacher. Okay. Nelson Antonio. Oh, his listener, sorry. Um, Oscar Armando. Oscar? Oh, yes, you're there. Okay, Pamela Carolina. Okay, very good. Rosalina Alvarado. Present. Okay. Selvin Adonai. Okay. Selvin Adonai. Okay, very good. And Mirna Elizabeth. Present. Very good, very good. Okay, everyone, let's continue. Let's see some examples of how we can use these expressions. Again, this information is in your manuals, okay? Let's go, look at this. 
I need a volunteer for reading the first example, please. Yes, teacher. Yes, please. Okay. One way to help your target market like can trust you is to publish often through online channels. In other words, write a blog that informs, entertain, and educate. Very good. So look at here, we are just clarifying the point. And something important that I want you to notice is the punctuation marks. What happens with the word, with this phrase? In other words, we have punctuation marks. So we got the phrase between commas, okay? This is important when you are writing. When you are speaking, I mean, obviously we don't need punctuation marks, but when we write emails, for example, it is important to keep in mind the punctuation symbols. So in this case, most of the time when we use in other words, when we use that phrase, we always put them between commas. Or another option is to use point. For example, online channels, point, then capital letter, in other words, comma, okay, here we add the comma. So what is the difference? When do we use the point and when do we use the comma? Do you know what is the difference? When can I use point and when can I use comma at the beginning? What do you think? This is related to grammar in Spanish. Let's try to remember literature in if, high school. If I'm not wrong, mm -hmm. when, you, when you write the, the point is because you finish the idea. Okay. And when you use comma is because you have a, like an, an idea. Uh, <laughs> Like the same idea? Mm -hmm. That's what, okay. Like the same, but a little bit long. Hmm, okay. That makes sense. Do you agree, everybody, or do you have another idea? In addition of that teacher, we use in Spanish a comma with one word between commas for, for give an explanation for something in mm -hmm. Spanish. For is just that we are speaking about some things and i said um, um, it is my main idea and continue the, the idea mm -hmm. oh this is my opinion and continue giving my opinion okay that is the comma and the point you use you can use point when when you change idea with uh, you are you are speaking about something and you use the point make a pause and change idea mm, okay that makes sense so what you have said everyone is correct okay remember that for example Let's go back to this example. We had commas, not point. Why? Because if you see the examples that we are providing here is related to the same idea that I had in the first sentence. So we are just joining two sentences that they are talking basically about the same. At the contrary, we need to identify the function of the point. We have two types of points. In Spanish, the typical el punto y seguido, el punto y aparte, el punto y coma. So we are not going to uh, spend a lot of time on that. But if it is the first stop point, the idea 
doesn't change a lot. It's like the same idea, but not concretely. But there is not so much difference between the ideas. If it is a full stop or like el punto y aparte, in that case, yes, the idea is totally different, okay? So I don't want you to complicate a lot like punctuations. Oh my God, no. But just keep in mind this because when you are writing an email, you have to keep in mind the punctuation. So if you are going to use the phrase in other words, remember, you can use a comma then in other words, and again, another comma. Or if you want, you can use point, but then capital letter. And then don't forget the comma. That is the punctuation that you have to remember if you use in other words. Clear? Yes? ¿Se entiende? Clear? A little bit? It's difficult. I know. Because I, I, I am not good in, in grammar. <laughs> and you know, that is something important. Sometimes, unfortunately, our grammar in Spanish maybe is not so uh, good, right? If we had an exam about grammar in Spanish, <laughs> what would be the score? Maybe we are ah, not intermediate. I, <laughs> I explode. And, and you know what, guys? It happens. Sometimes we have a better grammar in English than in Spanish. Because let me ask you, ¿cuáles son los tiempos gramaticales in English? Ah, simple present. ¿Qué más? Can you remember them? Simple past, continuous present, continuous past, uh -huh. future, 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 perfect. You see, ¿cómo se llaman los grammar tenses in Spanish? Presente, <laughs> pasado y futuro. So... The names are a little bit different in Spanish. We don't say si, eh, pasado simple, el pasado perfecto. Actually, the names are different. So what I'm Pretérito. trying to say, ah, very, and some of you are like, yo me acuerdo haber visto en la escuela, right? But I didn't pay attention. Hmm. Look, what I'm trying to say is, if we don't have a good grammar in Spanish, this topic is very difficult in English, but the similarities are the same. I mean, it's very similar, this topic. So don't complicate. What I'm trying to say is, si van a usar la frase, in other words, solo recuerden, tienen que ponerla entre comas, o pueden poner punto, luego capital, porque sabemos que después de un punto va capital, y luego otra coma, ok, eso es lo que quiero que se memoricen si ustedes escriben in other words y no le colocan las comas so that is considered a mistake clear yes it's easy, clear <laughs> ok, in that way it's easy <laughs> ok now Let's see the example number two. Volunteer for reading it, please. I want to read. Go ahead. You can increase your rating as an expert and reach a brother, brother. What is the pronunciation? For brother. That? Like brother. No, brother is like brother and sister. This is like a ah, uh, brother. Brother. Reach a broader market by developing a podcast. That is, that is to say, record your talks about, record your talks and allow your customer to download it. Very good. So that's it. That's it to say. 
Again, we are connecting two sentences. So the punctuation is just the same. If you have to use this phrase, look, put it between commas. Okay? So don't complicate too much. You just have to remember, if you want to use these phrases, okay, let's put them between commas. Clear? Yeah. Okay. When we use the phrase, that is to say, most of the time, we just use between commas. A diferencia de, in other words, everybody, we don't use point here. Like point, capital letter, and that is to say, no, really. That is not common. The phrase that it's to say or that it's is just between commas. Okay? Now, example number three. Volunteer for reading it, please. Teacher. Yes. I have a question. Go ahead. I don't I don't understand why in, in the second phrase and phrase? that's it. That's it. Uh, not remember parentheses is brackets uh, or parentheses. Bra bra uh -huh. uh, that's it in parentheses to say. Can you, I can use one, another one, or both? Both. This is optional. The reason why it is here in parentheses is because it's optional. You can say only that's it. Or if you want, you can say the full phrase. That is to say. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why it's in parentheses. Because to say that phrase is optional. If you say just, that's it, se entiende. Ah, that's it, record uh, your talks, ta, 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 ta. Or if you want, puede decir la frase completa. That's it to say. To say, that's it mm -hmm. to say. Yes. Okay, okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, I volunteer. can read it because number three. Yes, please, go ahead. Okay. Today's customer are looking for guarantees. Simple put. Exceptional service after they have appreciated your product. Very good. So what is the punctuations that we got here with simple pet? Again, look. Between Com commas. In this example, when you use the phrase simple pet, again, this is similar to in other words. You can change the first comma by a point, then capital letter, and then again, comma. Or if you want, you can just put it between commas. No problem, okay? Next one, number four, volunteer for reading it. Hey, teacher. Yes, please. Another free marketing resource for your current internet customers is inviting them to participate in a social networking site, namely a Facebook group. Thank you. So here we got another expression that we can use to clarify point, namely. Have you ever seen this word? Never, teacher. Never? No. Okay, namely, it's basically like that it's, or that is to say. The translation is like, es decir, or when you want to say something specifically. So in this case, for example, uh, to participate in social networking sites, específicamente en un grupo de Facebook. Or, concretamente, en un grupo de Facebook. Or, es decir, un grupo de Facebook. Okay? So those are like the translations that you can use. Remember, namely is when you want to give an example, but very specific one. Okay? 
Is it clear the meaning of namely? Yes. Se entiende el significado? Namely. Uh, specifically. When you want to give an example, like very specific. So the translation is like específicamente, concretamente, um, más precisamente, un grupo de Facebook, for example. Okay. So namely, es más cuando damos ejemplos, but very specific examples. So for example, you can say, you know what, teacher? I love fast food. I really like to eat all of kind of fast food, but I have my favorite ones, namely McDonald's hamburger. Okay, I'm using namely to give a very specific example. Or another way, you know, teacher, I was working on the platform. All the exercises were a little bit confusing. Namely, the exercise 1.2 in the section four. I'm giving a very specific example. Got it? Yes? Yes, I got it. All right, everybody, if you have a question about the meaning of these phrases, tell me because we are going to use them, okay? Again, punctuation marks, if you see, we can put these phrases between commas, okay? With namely, namely is most likely like that is to say, it's not so common to use a point here. Most of the time we use it between commas, okay? Now, the last example, please volunteer for reading it. And I mean? Yes, please. The ultimate marketing goal is to have your target market think of you. These or wish means that you must focus on satisfying customer needs. Thank you. Now, here you have two options, okay? Here you can say this means, or if you want, you can say which means. This is up to you, the ones that you prefer. According to the punctuation, we only use comma at the beginning. When you use means, you don't need the next Coma. That is like the difference. Okay. And what is the translation? This means or which means? What do you think? Es decir, you say, es decir. Yes. Es decir, or. O sea. O sea quiere decir que. Right? Those are the meanings of these phrases. Now, I will ask you, let's see if you remember the meanings. What is the translation for in other words? In other words. All right. What is the translation of that it's or that is to say? Lo que quiero decir. Or, sea. or, o sea, es decir, good, simple put. What is that? Simply put. En resumen o en pocas palabras. Correct. En palabras sencillas. Exactly, very good. Namely, what is that? En decir o específicamente. Ah, very good. Específicamente, concretamente, para ser precisos. Okay, this means or which means? What is that? Lo que significa. Aha, very good. Or? 
What else? Es, es decir, o sea, this mean is the same like uh, 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 that seems to say is. Mm -hmm. They is, are just synonyms. Synonyms. Okay. Correct. Very good. Okay. I can see the chat says <laughs> clear like Olchata. My goodness. <laughs> Okay, everyone, is it clear the translations for these phrases? Clear as water, not as horchata, okay? Yeah, it is clear. Clear as tamarindo juice? Carajo. Uh, carajo juice, oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, we are going to uh, have an exercise. It's a very simple exercise, everyone. Um, we are going to see some sentences and I want you to use the expressions to clarify the points. And I want you to consider the punctuation. So you have to add the punctuation that you consider is the correct one uh, to join the, cla uh, the clauses and put the phrases together. For example, can you see the exercise? Can you see the sentences? Yes? Yes. Yes. So. The number one says, one way to increase brand awareness is to generate online advertising, da -da 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 -da, social networking sites. Here I have the options. So why do you, what do you consider is the correct one? Brand awareness is to generate the number of one. simple put between number one. So in the first option, I have double comma. In the second option, I just have one point, but no more commas at the end. And in the other one, I just have one comma, capital letters, and nothing at the end. So which one do you consider is the correct one? Number one. The first one. Simple put. Yes, okay. Online advertising, simple put, social networking sites. Okay. Now let's continue with the number Very two. Volunteer for reading, number two. Awareness. Awareness. Uh -huh. Number two. Yeah. Brand recognition is a very important element of brand awareness. In other words, uh -huh. the consumer knows that a particular brand exists. Correct. So everybody, what is the correct one here? This one? Between comma, in my opinion. Okay, we have the first one with nothing, zero commas. We got the other one, I have a point, capital letters and comma, or just commas and commas. What do you think? For me, the second and the third one are correct. The second? In my opinion, is third. Me yeah. too, in my opinion, mm -hmm. the third, yeah, in other words, comma, comma. Okay, some of you think that is the second one or the third. Some of you say only the third. Imagine that this is an exam. <laughs> Which one will you use? For me, number two. Okay. In other words, comma. Well, if you see actually both can be correct, as I mentioned before. In other words, can be between a point and a comma or between both commas. Now, let's read a sentence. Brand recognition is very important element of brand awareness. The consumers, uh, the consumers knows that a particular brand exists. Are very connected the two sentences. Is the second sentence an example of the first one? Do they have the same idea? What do you think? No. No, yes, a little bit. Why did the second one? <laughs> no, that is what I want you to think. It's an explication. Explanation. Mm -hmm. I think it's like 
Punto y seguido in Spanish. Exactly. So, this is what I want you to think. Y eso es lo que es un poquito complicado porque a veces hasta en español nos cuesta. Si lo que estamos haciendo es unir dos oraciones que están hablando de lo mismo o que posiblemente la segunda oración solo es un claro ejemplo de la primera oración, entonces usamos coma. Si las ideas están relacionadas entre sí, pero no son tan unidas, es decir, no es como la siguiente frase, no es como un claro ejemplo de lo primero, ahí como que las ideas están un poquito separaditas, ahí usamos el punto. ¿Ok? Eso es lo que hay que reconocer. Y eso es lo que es un poquito difficult, because even in Spanish, it's difficult for us. ¿Ok? So, Again, you can use both, the second one or the third one. But because the connection of the ideas, we are going to use the second one, okay? Now, let's move on to the number three. I need a volunteer for reading it, please. Me, teacher. Yes, please. Brand recognition happens when a consumer is able to identify a certain product or service. Namely, by viewing the product's logo. Thank you. Okay. What do you think? The last one. The last one. No, the last one? Yeah. Why? Why do you think it's the last one? Why not the first one? I think because continued the idea. Aha, yes. correct. That's what I wanted to see. If you see, this is a clear example of the first sentence. The idea is totally connected. That's why we use coma and coma. Okay, very good job, very good job. Okay, volunteer for the number four, please. Me teacher? Yes, please. This brand have become well known. In other words, they have replaced the common terms for similar product in your language. Thank you. Okay. This brand have become well known. The first one. The second first. one. <laughs> Or the ah, third one. Wait, 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 wait. The no. second one. Because okay. you continue that the idea, I think. <laughs> These brands have become well known. They have replaced the common terms for similar products in our language. Do they keep the same idea? The second sentence is an example of the first one, or they are just similar sentences. What do you think? Coma or point? For me, comma, teacher, but... <laughs> For me, it's comma, too. Everybody? Do you agree? I think yes. point, teacher. Okay, some of you say comma, some of you say point. <laughs> ¿Quién da más? <laughs> Can I use the third one? On no. the other words, never. The second, the second idea is an explanation of the first idea. This brand have become, well, no, they, they have replaced similar process. So they are totally connected. Yes. Yes. Well, actually, it makes sense. If you see, in this case, they are related totally. So we can use coma and coma. No problem. Okay, however, if you see, that might be a little bit mm, different too. This is the pen of the point of view, but this one is the best option because they are totally connected. Now, the last one, volunteer, please. Uh -huh. Volunteer for reading it. Again, yes, you have to publish high quality content. Uh, simple put, simple put is correct. The simply put, simply put, 
by creating valuable, 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 valuable content to be introduced uh, to new audience. Nice. Okay, everybody. What do you think is the correct one? It's been comma, the second one. The second one. Simple put. Between commas? Between mm -hmm. commas. Yes. If you see, it's a clear example that they are just talking about the same. So everybody, if you see, there are two things that I want you to learn about this topic. First of all, the vocabulary. I want you to know what is the meaning of each phrase. Second, just remember the punctuation. And this is important when you are typing, when you have to write an email, okay? They are always between commas, or if you want to use the point, you can use it too. The only phrases that are not between commas is this means or which means. You don't need to put a comma after that, just at the beginning, okay? Clear? Questions, anyone? No. Nope. Okay, now, if you don't have questions, we are going to use these clarify phrases. But when can we use clarify phrases? When we want to explain our point, when we want to explain with more clarity what we want to say. And the best scenario to practice this topic is and we are going to see that a debate. <laughs> that is what we are going to have tonight. So during a debate, we can use different phrases. And these are some examples of clarified phrases that we can use when we want to express our ideas. Estos son otros ejemplos. Besides, in other words, simply put, that means, okay, we can use another phrases like, let me explain that. Let me put it in another way. You can use this phrase and this is very useful. Sorry, let me explain. You look. In other words, to say this differently, to put it differently. So if you see these phrases are basically synonyms of the phrases that we just studied. I will need you to take a screenshot or copy these phrases because we are going to use them. Is it clear the meaning of these phrases or is there a phrase that you don't know what the meaning is? What do you think? Are these phrases clear? Yes? Yes. Everybody, ¿se entiende el significado de todas estas frases? Mm, to say it this differently, teacher. To to say this differently. Exactly, yes. Uh -huh. To put it differently is exactly the same too. They are just synonym, okay? Mm -hmm. So when you want to explain your ideas, these are the phrases that you can use. However, there are other phrases that we can use when we don't understand. Imagine that I am explaining a very complicated topic and you don't understand my explanation. You need to ask, okay? So how can you ask? You can use these questions. Look, instead of saying just teacher, can you repeat? I mean, yes, that's a valid phrase, but we can use another ones. When you don't understand what someone else says, you can say, what do you mean? Or what do you mean by, imagine that I am talking about uh, um, 
global warming. So you can say, teacher, why do you mean by global warming? Or I'm talking about simple past. Teacher, what do you mean by simple past? I'm talking about gerunds. Teacher, what do you mean by gerunds? Okay, that is a phrase that you can use. Another phrase. Could you say that again, please? Don't forget to be polite. We can use the phrase can, but could is a little bit more formal. It's more polite. Okay, so instead of can, you can use could. And don't forget to say please. Okay, another one that is very common. Could you repeat, please? Could you clarify that, please? Or look at the next one. Could you be more explicit? What is the meaning of explicit? What do you think? Explicito? Yes. In Spanish? Correct. Explicito or specific, right? Um, I say, hey, everybody, we have to learn and memorize the verbs. Oof, there are a lot of verbs. So you can say, could you be more explicit, teacher? Which verbs do we need to memorize? Okay, so you want a very specific idea. Another one, could you give us an example? Imagine I'm explaining a topic you don't understand and you say, teacher, could you give us an example? So, could, look, it's more formal, it's more polite. Could you put it differently, please? Could you say it in another words? Could you be more specific, please? Okay, so everybody, when you have a question, when you don't understand, the explanation or the information that the other person is saying, these are the phrases that you can use. Clear? Yes? Did you copy yes, the phrases? It's clear. I take a photo. <laughs> nice. Everybody? Sure, could you back the, the another uh, screenshot? Because I, I, I didn't oh. take the. This Thank one? you. Yes, please. Yes. Okay. Uh, keep this information, everyone, because we are going to use it, okay? Okay. Thank you. I got it. Thank you. Okay. So, everybody, did you get the information? Yes? Yes. Very good. Excellent. Okay. We are going to have a debate. Can you explain me what is that? Fighting. <laughs> it's when two when two person two person or two people two people it's when two people are speaking about a specific topic and each of one of them each one of them is correct or each of them each of them and each of them uh, present their own their selves or their own, their selves is right. Mm -hmm. Their selves um, points of view. That's defending it. it defending <laughs> it. That's correct. For example, I can say Real Madrid is the best team in the world. Right? Yes, we have we have to speak about that. <sighs> no t-shirt. <laughs> Very true, teacher. We have to have a debate. It's true. <laughs> okay, para los que estén en contra, Explain aquí lo voy a, voy a ir language. anotando a quienes voy a repetir, a quienes voy a reprobar. Okay, <laughs> okay I so. Agree. I, agree with you. <laughs> I agree with you. Only I really Chris love that. Oh, I really yeah, love sure. that. Only Christian <laughs> will go to the next level, it seems. Yes. <laughs> okay, so that is an example of debate. We have a topic and we have different people giving their opinion about that topic. Some of them will be against, 
some of them will be a favor, okay? So, during the debates, we can use the phrases to clarify the points. For example, I can say, oh, Real Madrid is the best team in the world. Okay, but why? And you start to explain. Well, let me explain that. First of all, we have won more champions than Barcelona. <laughs> and you're going to start talking, right? And you are using these phrases. Ah, we always win. We have the best soccer players. In other words, we have more money than Barcelona or things like that. Okay. So what I want you to do is to use these phrases. Okay. Now, talking about debates, I'm going to start with a listening practice. I want you to listen to this audio and try to pay attention what they say, okay? What do they say about the pro or against this topic? For example, the first one is DNA testing. So do you think that DNA testing is important? Can this DNA testing can help to catch criminals? Yes or no? Are you against or on favor? I'm against. Why? Uh, I think that it's important because you can find uh, that cr criminals uh, with the how I can say pruebas? Tests. Test or yes, the test with the test you can find the criminals. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. So you are pro. Yes, in in that in that uh, topic, I am a favor. How can say a favor? On favor. A favor. On favor. On um, favor. On favor. Mm -hmm. Yes. Good. That's good. How about work from home? Everybody? Against favor? What do you think? I am on favor. Why? On favor. Because you have uh, more time to share with with um, your family, your similars is, is correct. Your loved ones? Your loved ones, that you have more time. Okay. And, and actually, you you spend less money for work. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's better, <laughs> it's better work, work from home. It is. But is anyone here against working from home? What do you think? No, nobody is against. Yes, teacher, it depends that, that you work because, for example, in, in my case, I can work from home because it's it's it's, it's IT or or you have to control just with the computer. But imagine in a in a fabric or in a factory, I think that it depends that that. The, the type job. of job. Yeah, the type of field. And yes, depending, depend. uh -huh, or depending on the environment. Imagine, I mean, here in my house is a little bit quiet. <laughs> I don't have a lot of people in my house living here and making a lot of noise. Not really, right? I mean, I don't have children. My neighbors, they are all people, <laughs> they are seniors. So, they don't make a lot of noise. But imagine if I live between very noisy neighbors. Imagine if I had five <laughs> children screaming out loud all the time. Do you think that is a good idea to work from home? No. No. Imagine if my internet connection is not good all the time, is failing. What do you think? Is a good idea? 
Maybe not, right? So it depends of the type of job and the conditions that you have. Now, I'm going to play this audio and I want you to pay attention in the sentences that the people provide about this topic. What are the pros and what are the cons in this scenario, okay? Pay a lot of attention. If you want to take notes, do it, okay? To avoid interferences, everybody, microphones off. Okay, pay a lot of attention. Here we go. Number one. So the first controversial topic is DNA testing. What do you think, Mason? I think it's very useful. It can help the police catch criminals. Charlotte? If we do a DNA test, we might be able to predict illnesses. Libby? I think a DNA test might help us understand our personalities. If we understand our genes, we might understand our behavior better. Any arguments against? Charlotte? DNA tests might not be accurate, and they cannot tell us anything about culture. Number two. The second controversial topic is working from home. Rosa? When you work from home, you have more freedom and independence. I agree, and also, you can spend more time with your family. And, of course, you have a more flexible schedule. What are the cons? Aria? At home there are a lot of distractions. Also, it's not good for teamwork, and you might lack motivation. Okay, did you understand the sentences? Everyone? Yes? Or yes. do you want to listen it again? Yes, it's better. Okay. Everybody? Do you want to listen it again? Yes, please. Okay. But please. okay, I'm going to play it again, but please pay attention. Microphones off again, everyone. Okay, here we go. Number one. So the first controversial topic is DNA testing. What do you think, Mason? I think it's very useful. It can help the police catch criminals. Charlotte? If we do a DNA test, we might be able to predict illnesses. Libby? I think a DNA test might help us understand our personalities. If we understand our genes, we might understand our behavior better. Any arguments against? Charlotte? DNA tests might not be accurate, and they cannot tell us anything about culture. Number two. The second controversial topic is working from home. Rosa? When you work from home, you have more freedom and independence. I agree, and also, you can spend more time with your family. And, of course, you have a more flexible schedule. What are the cons? Aria? At home, there are a lot of distractions. Also, it's not good for teamwork, and you might lack motivation. Okay. What are the pros when you have DNA testing? First of all, that can help to catch criminals. How about you? What is another pro? Can you tell me the sentences? Very useful for police for uh -huh. understand personalities and behavior of the people. Very good. And do we have they, any con? They mentioned illness. Illness, yes. Illness. With the DNA testing, we can prevent or understand some illnesses, correct? So how about cons? Do we have any cons or against? I, I, I think uh, somebody say cannot tell about any culture. Ah, very good. Look, with the DNA testing, we can learn about illnesses, personality, everything about a person except the culture. If I got your DNA, I won't be able to recognize anything about your culture. Okay, very good. 
How about work from home? Can you tell me the pros? More freedom and independence. Correct. Mm -hmm. Flexible schedules. Uh -huh. Very good. More Thank time you. with their families. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes. yeah maybe, maybe for the traffic or... <laughs> <laughs> you can avoid traffic. Yeah. Definitely. But what are the cons or against? Uh, I, I feel it's in a lot of at home, a lot of distraction, for example, for example. That's true. Or motivation, say. Uh, lack, motivation. lack of motivation. Imagine you are alone. You cannot see your uh, partners, right? It's just you, <laughs> you and the computer. So sometimes it can feel a little bit lonely, right? Those are some cons. Okay, so if you see, these people are giving examples of pros and cons. Okay, let's see another example. Government surveillance. Do you know what the meaning is? Surveillance? I don't. No. No. Okay. Uh, it's like vigilance or yes. something. Yes. That's Camera. It. Exactly. For example, think about your cities. Imagine that your mayor in your, the government in your city, they decided to put different cameras in the streets, in the park, in front of your house, <laughs> everywhere, cameras everywhere. So mm, what do you think? Is that a good idea or not? Uh-huh, against or pro? Mm. And you lost your freedom. <laughs> a little bit. What do you think? In my case, like, in my uh, case is a... I think uh, it's the, uh, uh, for example, uh huh. Okay, but imagine not only cameras, you know that, and this is a reality, the police can access to your cell phone. They can see, they can listen to your calls, right? So what do you think about it? Do you agree or not? Is that a good idea or not? Mm -hmm. In my opinion, teacher, is a price what I want to pay because uh, criminals were so hard, so difficult in my country, in my, in my city. Mm, okay, that's a good point. Aha, uh -huh, everyone, pro or cons? What do you think? For example, for say the people yeah. in the uh, when we see the mall or or college or company, if I what do you say, robo, stolen, robo, if uh, no robos, robberies, yes, yeah. uh huh, mm -hmm. and maybe you have a video about the behavior of the people. Mm. The, the place and this is a good um, uh, support mm -hmm. to recognize who made that. No, in in that way, I think is very important for save yes. the people. That's true. Example, uh -huh. but also imagine they are invading <coughs> your privacy, so it's like they will know everything you do. Mm -hmm. So it's a little bit complicated, but it yeah. depends of the city you live, right? And the intention why they do that. Now, artificial intelligence, is that a good idea or not? What do you think? Against teacher, against. Mm -hmm. Why? Because we lost the organic, organic, um, uh, ser, ¿cómo sería? Human the, the, beings or lives? Life, uh-huh, organic life, because uh, the 
artificial intelligence maybe could be could be uh -huh. uh, lost lost uh, some work and it's not good for, for a lot a lot of people mm, that's a good point imagine they will do our jobs so <laughs> Instead of a teacher, you will have a robot teaching you English. So, or there are different robots, they will be able to do the other jobs. There are some restaurants that they are using robots as waitress or waiter. So what about you, everyone? Artificial intelligence, pro or con? Artif uh, artificial intelligence. Uh... I think a uh, similar my, my friend Hector Francisco uh, <laughs> this, Why? this place this place uh, the the people in the in the in the company mm -hmm. that's important yeah. too yeah okay now again we are going to listen to the audios pay attention to the sentences and then you have to tell me which sentences are pro and which sentences are counts everybody microphones off please pay attention number three the third topic is government surveillance how do you feel about the government watching you charlotte i think it's scary i worry about my privacy and I might be scared to speak freely. Oh, I disagree. I think it increases public safety. For example, CCTV cameras can help catch criminals. Yes, and it helps prevent terrorism. Number four. The fourth topic is quite interesting. Artificial intelligence, good or bad? Libby? I think that artificial intelligence and automation can help us work more effectively. It can do the boring tasks. We can be more creative. Yes, and it can help us make smarter decisions. I agree too. Artificial intelligence will make our lives easier. I can talk to the TV. I don't have to look for the remote. Okay. Uh -huh. What do you think, everyone? Government surveillance, what are the pros? It's criminal? That's it's catching, it's catching criminals. That's true. Any cons? Prevent terrorists. Prevent terrorists, definitely. Uh -huh. Any con? Sentence, something against? Yeah, they talk about to lose the, uh, the privacy. That's true, very good, yes. very good. Now, artificial okay. intelligence, pros. Help, help effectively, effectively. Effectively. Uh -huh. <laughs> Inhale market decision. Yes. Very good, very good. What else? Make a life easier. <laughs> That's true. Uh huh. Anyone else? They can help to do the boring tasks. And what are the cons? Did you hear any cons? No. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> no, I didn't. If you paid attention in the last audio, it sounded more like a robot, like the robots were talking, not people. Did you notice that? Romaric, yeah. Ah, mm -hmm. so you see, they weren't people. They were the robots talking. That's it's why- artificial intelligence. Yeah, actually, actually <laughs> when, uh, uh, cuando quiere consultar uno, what do you say? When someone was to once, to consult or ask? Okay, was to consult in the, for example, uh, in the bank, mm -hmm. uh, I I looking for a uh, WhatsApp in the in the company. Y con quien uno este hace las peticiones es con un artificial intelligence. Yeah, practice. that's true. And you are chatting and you are sending the options 
And a machine yeah. is answering you. That's true. And they even mm -hmm. have a name. They say, hey, I'm here to help you. Just tell me which of these mm -hmm. options <laughs> do you want to, go, uh, to answer or something, right? That's true. So everyone, artificial intelligence is everywhere. <laughs> Be careful. Or yeah. just imagine if you say, for example, um, quiero comprar un televisor. Solo lo dijeron. Immediately on Facebook, on Instagram, starts to appear a lot of promotions of TVs. Have you ever seen that? Yes? <laughs> yes. So you see, artificial intelligence, they are listening everything that we say. Okay, against and pro, okay? So that is basically the debates. When we are using debates, when we are expressing our ideas, remember that you always have to be polite. When you don't agree to your classmate, no le podemos decir algo like, ay, estás mal. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you are wrong. No, we cannot say that. We have to be polite. And these are some phrases that we can use to sound polite. For example, I see your point, but I think, okay? So again, for example, some of you consider that Barcelona is the best. So I can say, I see your point, but I think that is not the most accurate information. Or you can say, yes, I understand, or I understand your point, but my opinion is that, and you can continue talking. Imagine we are talking about artificial intelligence. Some of you can think that it's a good idea, some of you don't. So you can say, hey, that's all very interesting. But the problem is that, and you continue talking. I'm afraid I can quite agree with your point. That is when you definitely don't agree with that. Or I think I got your point, or I think I understand your point, but now let me respond it with this. And you start giving your point of view. Or the last one, we can see what you're saying, we can understand what you're saying. Here's is my answer or he, here, here's my reply. So every time that you want to refuse the argument that your classmate is providing, don't forget to be polite, okay? Those are the rules when we are using or when we are practicing a debate. Now, I we have prepared a topic Let's have a little debate right now. So video games, are video games bad? So we are going to have different arguments. Some of you will be in favor, some of you will be against. But please, if you want to tell me your point of view, I want you to use the expressions to clarify your point. You can use these ones or the ones that we checked in the exercise, like simply put, that means, or which means, that is, that is to say, okay, we can use those phrases. Now, tell me, who is in favor? Video games are bad. What do you think? In favor, tell me. Anyone? Nobody thinks that video games are bad? <laughs> no? I, I, I think it depends the game, but the war games, uh -huh. I think is no correct because foment uh, a war. Good, that's a very good argument. But remember to use the phrases. In this case, for example, Fatima could say, well, I think it depends of the game. Let me explain that. We have the war games. Those video games are very violent and they just create the idea of a word, OK? 
Okay, so you are using these phrases. Rosalina, go ahead. Okay, let me explain that. For me, I think uh, use uh, video games is bad because uh, the younger people lost a lot of time in practice that and at the end make a habit and depend the playing, playing, playing every day, every day, a lot of hours uh, stay in the same position all day. And then I think for me it's, it's bad, no? In that way, but but <clears throat> uh, to say this very different way is nice when the people uh, make a money, like uh, gamers. Mm, okay. In that way, is 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 a different result because they stay all day in sitting in front of the computer, but make money very <laughs> quickly, no? They are making money for that. Yeah. All right. So you see, she was explaining her point, but she was using the clarified expressions. Nice job. I liked it. Uh huh. Any other opinion, everyone? Are video games bad? Yes or no? No. Okay. I have no. a different Why? viewpoint. I, I have a different viewpoint. Let me explain that. Okay, different, uh, different point of point view. view. Point of view. Mm -hmm. <laughs> point of view. Go ahead. Uh, but I I can find oh we we can find different different kind of video game. You can find uh, game for war, a uh, recreate war, and you can find a uh, wars. Or make uh, ¿cómo se llama rompecabezas? Uh, puzzles. Puzzle, uh huh. Puzzle. You can find different different kind uh, video game. The problem is uh, <laughs> clavarse. <laughs> I don't know how to say in English. Uh, I I think is the, the the problem is is take a uh, vicious vicious vicious. Okay. Addicted. And, uh, Addict, uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, this is the problem, but uh, addicted, I can, I can make addicted for um, drink a lot beer, I think. <laughs> the problem is, is if I to, can... To become I can, addicted. Uh-huh. Become? Become. Become. Become addicted. Okay. And if uh, if I I want uh, less or lost stress, I can I can play a video game. Okay, that's true. That's a good point. So, in other in other words, he's saying that depends of the type of video games, right? We got good video games. We have some others that maybe are not so good. All right. Any other idea? Are video games good or bad? Me to share, can I? Yes, please. I, I agree with Hector. It's dependent on the game, but let me explain it. that. I think that the games use a gun, for example. Uh, they foment the violence in the kids or the children. Uh, the violence is is not is not good. It's bad for them, and I I I agree with Hector. It depends on the games, because I can maybe education educational games maybe, <laughs> but if you use the the games for me, uh, I I I don't like. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. So everyone, we are having a debate right now. Do I have a gamer here in the class? Anyone? Um, do you like video games, people? Yes? I like video games. <laughs> Me. Yes, I like. Okay, so why I are- I really you... like it. A so long, long, long time. No, so no, tell no. me, tell me your opinion because I have people here saying that video games are bad. <laughs> the classic, the classic. 
<laughs> the classic <laughs> ones. So Mario Kart yeah, no is good. No, okay. Mario Kart is the best. <laughs> Mario Kart, Mario Kart is, is, I love it. Delicious for, for playing. <laughs> Delicious? <laughs> no, no. no. Okay. It's fun. It's fun. Fun. <laughs> fun game. Mario Bros. All right. But how about the, the ones that are with guns, gangsters, uh, wars, fighting people? I mean, in my case, teacher, uh, it's interesting. It's interesting to hear them uh, those, because those I love the, the war <laughs> video games. Uh huh. Call of Duty for me oh. is the worst <laughs> game that I ever played. <laughs> okay. I like it. And it's interesting to hear that because like a person who grew up playing video games and to play video games, war video games, it, for me, in my case, it helped me to uh, follow instruction, to work in team, to, heal, to take uh, exactly to to be more um how to explain it to play, uh, um to press more more attention to my intern to the place to hear follow instruction working team for oh. me it's not, <laughs> it's not they, they are not bad it's a person who cannot control themselves to play the video games interesting <laughs> that and is I, the idea video games are are, are so good <laughs> and Teacher. i can see i can see in the chat mortal kombat they said or uh, what is it call of duty okay <laughs> okay nice i like that you are giving me your opinions but guys use the expressions to clarify your ideas if you don't say the expressions the opinion doesn't count. So, what else? Should, yes. Uh, I think the that games like shooter games are not bad. Are, are not bad. Let me explain that because the the reason for me is it depends of the people of the person, it, the point of view of of the person. You okay. can play video games, shooter video games, but uh, you can be uh, like uh, I don't know how to say that. Like, uh, clavado, no sé, like. Stop. Tomárselo, maybe. Uh, en get serio, addicted. Uh, o tomárselo it, como personal, algo así. Take it personal. Uh -huh, take it personal. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. in, in other words, uh, you can play that game, but. Uh, just for fun. Mm -hmm. Okay, sounds good. So, as your classmate said, and, and as uh, Erika said too, so it depends on the, the attitude, the attitude, sorry, uh, how you take this video game, the intention while you are playing this. Are you playing this game just for fun or just to learn <laughs> to do something wrong, right? So, very good. If you see, guys, we just had a debate. Nice. So remember, we had to be polite. When you are against your classmates, remember to use the phrases. I see your points, but I think da 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 da. Or yes, I understand your opinion, but. Da, 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 da. And don't forget to use the phrases. And when you want to give examples, you can use the phrases like namely, and you start saying the phrase, the examples. In other words, that's it. Don't forget to use those phrases because that's the purpose to do these debates, not only to express ideas, but also to use the clarified expressions. Now, this was an example. Now we are going to work in teams. We are going to have teams of four people. Two people will be pro, two people will be anti, okay? So the first speakers will be the ones that are pro, the ones that says yes, 
those are the ones that will start the debate. Then, when the first speakers give the information, give the affirmative sentences, the ones that says no will continue talking. Now, what I really want is that you use the expressions of clarify your ideas, okay? The first, and I have here three topics, I didn't want you to give so controversial topics because, I mean, talking about abortion or death penalty. No, those are like very controversial topic and I don't want you to feel uncomfortable. So we are going to use simple topics. For example, should TikTok be banned? Do you know what is the meaning of banned? No. Anyone? Any no. Lots, lots. Yes. Or prohibits, like prohibidos. So do you think TikTok should be banned? Some of you will say yes. Some of you will say no. And you have to tell me why. But using the expressions. The other topic is, is 16 years old too young to drive? Some of you will say yes, some of you will say no. And the last one, should cell phones be allowed in the school? Do you know what is the meaning? Allowed? Like permitidos? Exactly. So if you say yes, good, explain me why. If you say no, okay, explain me why. But use the expressions. Is it clear, the activity? Yes? yes? ¿Se entiende? Okay, let's have this debate, but everybody be careful. Me ha pasado que en otras clases terminan hasta peleados. <laughs> so, I mean, don't take it personal, okay? Let's respect your classmates' ideas. Uh, let's respect, please, their opinions. So that's why I make an emphasis on using the polite expressions that I'm sending on WhatsApp right now, okay? So please be polite and don't take it personal. If you don't agree with your classmates, it's just a practice, okay? It's just a classmate. Uh, Rosalina, do you have a question? No, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Hello, okay. hand. excuse me. <laughs> okay, no worries. Okay, everyone, we will have teams of four. So remember, two people will be pro, two people will be against. Okay, just let me create groups one moment. Okay, there will be some teams of five. So in that case, just the same idea. Some of you will be pro, some of you will be against. Okay, let's see, let's go to work. Hello. Hello, lady. Hello. Hello. And the chat share the I'm lost. Sorry. I... Mm. You can see it. Yes. Okay. I think we have to make two teams. 
team one for yes and team and team two for not. And like a teacher say, take it easy. <laughs> 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 okay uh, about about tiktok i am um, anti i am uh, against because because this is a very um, simple the information i cannot find a uh, information utility for for different kind of different kind and in uh, about tiktok i am against so hector do uh, you doesn't want to the tiktok band okay okay don't complicate too much let's put it in simple words should TikTok be banned? Who say yes? Lift your hands. Banned. Banned, but, like prohibido. TikTok debería ser prohibido? Lift your hands. Okay, Erika says yes. ¿Quién más dice yes? Yes, but I, I cannot find the, the hand. <laughs> okay, Ek, but, uh, so, okay, hold mm -hmm. on, hold on. Okay, Erika and Hector says yes. So, Jamie and Fatima, you say no. So you have to tell me, Hector and Erika, tell me why. Why do you say yes? ¿Por qué creen que sí debería ser prohibido? And Fatima and Jamie, ustedes van a refutarlo. Van a decir el por qué no debería ser prohibido. ¿Ok? Los que dicen que yes, empiezan el debate. Go ahead. Pueden decir un argumento cada uno. And then... Fatima and Jamie continues. Go ahead. Let's Go start. Ahead, Ethan. Okay. Um, I, I, I think uh, I am not agree. Let me explain that because the information in this in, in TikTok is very bad and. Isabel and you, <laughs> you are pro. <laughs> Defend that. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm here. So uh, are you talking of the first one? Should TikTok mm. be banned? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yes, we are. So TikTok debería ser prohibido. ¿Quién dice que sí? Lift your hands. Me, teacher. Okay, Mirna. Mirna uh, Isabel. Um, and Isabel. Okay, yes. Mirna and Isabel dicen que sí. Magdaleno yes. and Ivan, you say no. Yes, I say no. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Mirna and Isabel, ustedes comienzan. And remember, Magdaleno and Ivan, ustedes tienen que refutar. You have to refute what they say. If you don't use the phrases, the arguments are not valid. Okay? If I what? If you don't use the phrases to the clarify phrases. your point. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Your point is not valid. No les valen el punto, ¿ok? Es, oh. como, es como que si su argumento no cuenta. Your argument doesn't count. Ok, teacher. Ok, okay. don't take it personal. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> no problem, teacher. I will take it. <laughs> Some people relax in the classroom. <laughs> <laughs> ok, okay. And then... go ahead. We start again. <laughs> yes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. You start. Uh, yeah. You should TikTok be banned? Yes. And uh, let me explain that. In my personal opinion, I think that TikTok should be banned because the the young people or like a teenager or 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 something like that uh, they can express your emotion or they can feel freedom in this platform and i and i believe that that they the platform should be banned okay let me explain that um 
I agree with you because they need uh, they don't express their their what you say <laughs> the em emotion or they feel it imagine if if my son feels sad or if my if, if, my, if my son feel uh, happy they can express in this platform that is good they can express <laughs> yourself they can express your ideas your feeling they can express you have to you have to get oh. yes but imagine let me let me let me see but imagine imagine that is your son or yours or uh, is your son for example and and they they try to dance with others uh, other <laughs> like friends <dance. laughs> yeah yeah but it's just yeah. an enter <laughs> entertainment it's just that it's just a play it's a game okay it's not hold on serious okay yes. let's see super good because if you see mirna says an argument magdaleno says another argument and so on and so on and that's great but remember the phrases about being polite i send it on whatsapp's group you can see i see your point but da -da 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 -da. okay, okay? Oh, or slowly. i understand I understand your point, but my opinion is da 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 da. Oh, hey, that's very interesting what you say. Okay. However, I end da 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 da. Because with that way, we show that we respect your opinion. Si no decimos esas frases, ya suena como una pelea, right? Like, nah, pero mira. <laughs> You're fighting. <laughs> okay. okay. And remember, I want to listen to everybody give their opinion. So, Isabel and Ivan, let them talk to, okay? Please. Yeah, it's their turn. <laughs> yes. Okay, Isabel, tell me, what is your opinion? <laughs> the questions. In my opinion, respect uh, TikTok for me. Um, should be banned because I the people that use the app and uploaded the content uncensored and explicit and how to say vulgar vulgar and vulgar Okay. Uh -huh. And okay, partners, your your answer uh, is a uh, be pro, no no be anti. Yes, anti for me it will be. Bulgar is thumb. No, no, no. Your your answer is pro. Yes, but pro that should be that should TikTok be banned or pro prohibit. Correct. You have to defend. Yeah. Defend. Yes. yes. It's and, idea. Mm -hmm. You have to defend. For, for me, I I don't like TikTok. It's <laughs> it's don't exist. I close my yeah. account actually. Yes. <laughs> no. Well, yeah. the, brother, the brother be honest. No. <laughs> okay. So Isabel is giving the point. He said that maybe some content are dirty, like otra a synonym of obsceno is dirty, profaned, right? Mm -hmm. So that's a reason why it should be banned. Mm -hmm. So Ivan, I want to listen to you. Okay, okay, my friends, uh, that's all very interesting. But the problem is that the question uh, many people wasting a lot of time on subir on, on proidings, right? Upload. Upload. Okay, the people waste a lot of time upload videos in the platform. Any others um, 
problem is uh, I I I remember uh, according to the TV or, or noticias news, verdad? News, right? Yes, yes, yes. It's news. Okay, thank you. Okay, according to the news in the TV, uh, it's a means of uh, uh, espionage. How do you say Spanish? Spanish? Spy. Spying, just ing at the end. Spying. Spies, spies for, for the China. So you think that through TikTok, China can spy on us? Yes. Okay. United I States. am not understanding your your point of view. Yes, you... because it sounds like you say yes, TikTok should be banned. You have to say no. Okay, let me see that. Mm -hmm. Continue, please. Don't forget the phrases. Super good because Ivan was using the phrases. That's great. Ivan, I see your point, but I think that the 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 spine that you talking oh, for this topic or no the teenager has a drive alliance is near to 16 years i uh, the 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 we country is the 18 year but yeah. the, the american uh, american the is the 16 year uh, mm -hmm. listen mm -hmm. yeah but is what they say the 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 seventy year is no good. I think my but uh, responsibility is no. Mm -hmm. You understand the the um topic. We within the 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 young is no good the responsibility. You disagree with the people as a, have a no has a drive lines in sixteen years. What is your point? The point. My point is that uh, the uh, the eighteen year is is a good ah, okay. time. Okay, okay, I understand. Holman, what do you think about it? Uh, well, I think. I think it's it's okay. Uh, when when you when you uh, when uh, an adolescent uh, no uh, right uh, it's it's good uh, because. When when the the person is is an adult is more is easier to 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 write and but I think it's difficult uh young 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 people right because I think uh, the adults are irresponsible. It's, it's a good idea that the, the young people uh, can... Micro buses, <laughs> public buses, it's gonna be a lot of, a lot of traffic. Yes, because when uh, the the students uh, aren't uh, go to the school, the traffic is lower. Yeah, Erika, I I know I, I understand your your point, but I have a, a 
um, children. Different, <laughs> different, opinion? Uh -huh, different opinion. Mm -hmm. uh, for this situation, it's necessary to have a lot of experience. And you can get experience only driving. And if, if the people start to drive uh, very young, it's, it's possible to get a lot of experience and you can fight with the, uh, with the traffic. Okay, time's up. Time's up, let's go back to the main room. We are going to wait for everyone to go back to the main room. Let's go back everyone, time's up. Okay, there are some people still in the breaking rooms. I'm going to wait for them. Okay, time's up, everyone. Okay, very talkative tonight. Okay, in algunos grupos como que ya iban a volar cabezas, right? <laughs> Remember, everyone, don't take it personal. Lo bueno es que estamos virtual, right? We cannot hurt each other. Okay, did your classmate use the phrases? Yes? Yes. Good. Yes. Yeah. I was listening. Most of you were using the phrases. Some of you sometimes forgot to use the phrases, but use it. Um, could you discuss all the topics? No, to oh. sure the time it was short. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Yeah. Honestly, I was paying a lot of attention about your arguments. Que no había visto reloj. I haven't seen the <laughs> clock and I was like, my gosh, it's not. Uh, more time but super good job it was easy everyone to give your opinion in this debate was it easy or difficult interesting interesting easy interesting. it's difficult teacher because it's necessary be be polite polite uh -huh. and, to be polite to be polite because but in my in my group because it's very friendly and I'm uh, polite. <laughs> I'm polite. <laughs> no, but but very yeah. very 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 very, <laughs> very ideas, not not a uh, fight. <laughs> but it's necessary mm. use it's use this this uh, uh, oracion, le, uh oracion, sentences sentences so it's necessary uh, <laughs> learn use for, for, for turn very polite conversation. That's true, that's true. And that is the point, everyone. We have to get used to use those phrases. El problema es que no estamos acostumbrados a hablar así, right? We are Salvadorians. We are always <laughs> using a different <laughs> phrase, right? Lindo cocatleco. We don't <laughs> use uh, polite languages. That's true. It's Especially when we are giving our opinions, right? Cuando, hey, alguien, nos, yes. cuando alguien nos contradice, no, hey, sorry, but you are wrong and we start fighting. Hey, so what's the matter? We are direct. <laughs> that, is the, no. that is the situation, teacher. We are direct. Direct, like yeah. Fatima. Fuck it. Fuck are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, so that's true. So, but in English, remember, we had to be polite. Come on, let's try it. <laughs> Okay, now, unfortunately, we don't have more time. We are going to continue debating tomorrow. Practice the phrases, please, and try to memorize it because that is the way that we can use it. Now, any questions before leaving, everyone? No. No? No, teacher. Good. Just a reminder, platform. There are some people who hasn't finished the unit number four, and remember to take the exam. There is the final exam in the section number four, so please take it. You have to finish it before Friday, 
Okay, so everyone, this is all for tonight. And take care. Study a lot. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 See you.